leave that out so we can at least match up the box. Yeah, we'll get one. We don't want to ruin the box though. Because we're going to have to take that out anyway. Yeah. So what's in here? Is this something good or is this just is the it? super vitamin kit? Oh, 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 oh. Wow. We actually did something different. So we don't just buy storage units. We actually do other things like we just did a buyout. We made a deal to help clean out their garage and give them their space back for $250. Even better, we brought it all back to the warehouse. Take a look at this. So you probably saw a little bit of the video of the stuff we pulled out the truck from the other day. We put, the, put a video out on that. Now you're getting to see us go through the big pile here that came out the trailer. Well, he had four or five of these uh, toolboxes and two of them the brother and sister-in-law didn't get into because they don't know the combination to. The pile was so big, right? Yeah. Well, that we had no idea what was in the inside of the pile. <laughs> you might have seen the shorts. If you haven't, go check our shorts playlist because check this out. I dropped the short for this box here and I couldn't wait to get through it. So what I does that, What does that box say? Want to get this started. Sports what cars, little cars. Little cars. And this was just like, I mean, I couldn't believe when I started getting things together. We found Hot Wheels, Red Lines, still on the card, 1968. So, look in this box, though. Now, I showed a quick snippet of the box, but we didn't actually go through the box. So, now we get to see what else we got. Um, here's a Mustang. This is 1969. And here's the Hot Wheels button that used to come with it with the matching color. You can see on that first one, the button was cut off. See, that's what looks wrong with that package. Mm -hmm. The button was cut off there. And here... For some reason. <laughs> So this is, I have to look up what car this is, but red lines and you can see that the little back, little glass to the car fell off, but I mean it's still is in it the still, package. Is it in there somewhere? It's still in the package though. That's not from us. It's right there. Oh yeah, it's in the package. But here's another one. This is a red lines. I mean, oh my God, like. One of the big things with the guy is he's a was a big hunter, so we got a ton of hunting stuff. So, whoa! Oh, oh my, my God! Gosh. There's more cars in here than wow. I mean, I peeked at it and saw a few, but wow! These are what what's what year is this one? This is 1969. Wow! This is an amazing find. Whoa, whoa. Like these That's are five. the little okay. things. That Here's another one. We had no clue what was in the pile. Right. No. No clue. clue. So there are. Oh, oh, the button's missing, but. Yep, the button's missing, but again, the car is still on the card. Yeah. So the, even though the button's missing, like we could still sell this car. Like when I saw this, and looked it up. You could sell this car without the card for at least 250 bucks around there, 200 to 250 on eBay. So, and that's the car without the card or the button. So, there's got to be some value in this with, even though it doesn't have the button. Here's the. So there's seven Hot Wheels on cards. Seven Hot Wheels on cards. And. What are these? Now there's also these little boxes yeah. in there. Just so showing them in the box. That's what these little boxes are. Little matchbox cars, or trucks, <laughs> in this case. So is that brand new in the box? Well, I mean, would you say? I don't know. I haven't looked yet. Hmm. Well, there There's went that. the box falling apart, because <laughs> it's old. That is not what's pictured on the box. <laughs> that looks brand new, though. It doesn't look like it was played with, and this is from... Uh, says 
Matchbox Series number 69 tractor shovel made in England and it does not give me a date there but do we have a date on the box I mean we'll have to do a little research on this yeah oh, wow so what's the, what are these little labels say oh these are just shipping labels yeah well it has the person's address I know on, I'm blocking so. it out with my thumb so and there's no date so they were shipping those are just the little like don't want to rip the box. Wow, this one's that even better than the last I one. know. Wonder if that will match the picture, or maybe it never matches the picture. So this one, you can see there are some marks on the sides of the car. Okay. So these but were taken out. This is the Ford GT number forty-one, made in England by Lesney. Hmm. We're just gonna have to do some research on these. So this is, it even says, a Lesney product. Yeah. Okay. So I wonder if that's the difference, because this says 27, and that car said it was 41. So maybe that's the number of the car, and they were just put back in different boxes. So actually this says 27 as well, so let's see. This. Yeah, see that white. This looks now, like that the looks car like, that's on the box. Yeah, but doesn't that look like the same box that Mercedes Benz 230 SL? And if we flip it over, Matchbox Series, here it is Mercedes. Matchbox Series number 27, Mercedes 230 SL. So, yep. Okay, so that is a match. Correct. We got yeah. a match, folks. <laughs> that is. But can we see that box? It's the same box. It is the same box. Yes. Okay. So that's weird, but I don't know why. Okay. Those are cute little shipping boxes. Yes, they are. <laughs> Here's another one. Ooh, a fire engine. Now, is it going to be a fire engine in there? Well... Let's see. Ha <laughs> it's the fire engine. Yay! That's cool that it all matches. Look hmm. at that. I mean, these don't even look like they were ever played with. They probably just sat on a shelf. Right. Yeah, number 29. We don't so. know a lot about this gentleman, except that he bought a lot of things in multiples. He was an avid hunter. Um, I don't know if he had any children or was ever married, but I don't think so because the stuff, his estate went to his brother. So. All right. What is in this one? This is number oh, 69. This is what oh, was in that first box. So I wonder if this is. So this is, is probably what was supposed to be in that first box. No, I don't think it was that. It was a BP truck on the outside. Remember? Mm, so this is number six. Okay. We'll leave that out so we can at least match up the box. Yeah, with we'll the get other it. One. We don't want to ruin the box, though. Because we're going to have to take that out anyway. Yeah. So what's in here? Is this something good or is this just is the it? super vitamin kit? Oh! oh. Oh, wow. I see red lines right there. Oh, whoa. Oh, That's crazy. Oh, my gosh. There's red lines. Red, There's lines, red lines. Red lines. Red oh. lines. Oh. This could be a $1,000 wow. box right here. Oh, this is more than a $1,000 oh box. Oh, my gosh. More red lines. Look I'm at glad that. this is not vitamins. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's line these up. So let's okay. put them right here so we can see exactly what we have. All right. You ready? Yeah. Is that Batman and Robin? Is... Oh, sorry. Peeking ahead. Peeking ahead, guys. Don't get excited, Lisa. You know what happens. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Wow. Wow. Man, this is... uh. 
Continental Mark III, what year? 19... 1968. Wow. Whoa. Oh, These man. are crazy. Wow. We had this in a junkyard lot. We had a couple of them and it was missing this piece right here because this flips up. If I'm correct. Yep, there we go. Look at that. Wow. Huh. Man, you got to be joking. Didn't realize that. Uh-oh, why does that have a rubber band around it? Who knows? It's never a good sign. We won't take it off right probably now. probably to keep this closed so oh. it doesn't break off. But it definitely wasn't on that. So, yeah. But we can take that off. Wow. Oh, so shiny. Look at this. It's two of these. Which one is this? Is this the El Camino or is this the Ranchero? You tell me. Hmm. Do you want me to tell you? Because I don't know. Make a guess. <laughs> you guys tell us in the comments. You guys tell us. <laughs> it says custom fleet side. <laughs> but there's two of them here. Look okay. At that. And these all have the red lines, right? Yes, they do. Okay. Oh, look at that one. Ooh. Wow. Let's see the top, too. Wow. Talk about great shape. And these shape. are in great shape, oh, yeah. Oh, man. I mean, I'm putting this at, I think we might have to reach out to somebody on this one. Right. You like an expert? <laughs> <laughs> You're not the expert? Ooh, that's a cool looking one. Well, we know somebody that this is what they love, and they can give us a better estimate on the value of everything this is 1967 wow 1967 oh my god so we have what one let's see so off the card we have 12 red lines and then we have one two three four five six seven on the card plus we have Five matchbox part of the Lesney collection. That's crazy. And what you didn't talk oh, about that yep, one yep. you're hiding back there. <laughs> I wasn't trying to hide it. <laughs> Forgot about the Batman. Now is that a red line? Look at that. I mean and I mean this is the little stuff that you would see missing. Like you'd see something like that broken off. You'd see these glass pieces. Well, there's a little chip here, mm -hmm. you know. That one definitely looks like it might have been played yeah. with a bit. But, I mean, for the condition. Batmobile. Look at it's that. a Corgi Juniors. Is there a date on that? That's what I'm looking for. I want to say it looks like it might be slash 69 there. Okay. So, um, made in Great Britain. It wow. goes, I mean, that's the time frame of all of these, so. Yeah. So, oh, wow. That is, on this pile, like, that box was crazy. Wow, that was an amazing box right there. Oh, I don't even know how we can top that, but let's go into the next one. Um, so, again, he was an avid hunter. Look at this. Genuine leather holsters. Still new in the package. Here's another, it's got the belt to it. I mean, we got bandolier, and here's some straps here. So that's what it looks like when it goes around you. Let's flip that over. Interesting. Oh, okay. So it's not really a belt, it goes across, it's a crossbody. It's a crossbody purse gun holder. Right? <laughs> Put it in terms that I can relate to purses. <laughs> so we got three of them here. Um, so then the question becomes, how much are they going to be worth? Because there isn't a tag on them, but we do have, again, I'm going to go back to this. We do have the maker name, so we can figure that out. Yeah. 
Ooh, and it even tells you what model it's for. Glock 29. Um, so, yeah. Wow. What's this box right here? Huh. And it's more holsters. There's another holster. And this is actually, what, the brown? You say that with a question. Tan. <laughs> I was looking to see what color they said. Oh, it was. and even this, it even says right handed. This is another holster. Front pocket horse hide holster, yep. Ambidextrous. Nice. Wow. Look at all these this holsters. Is ultra deep cover inside the pant holster. And then underneath it even tells you what kind of model. S and W J F R six forty. So it three fifty seven. So it even tells you what model handgun it's for. What is this? Replacement elastic straps for C thirty eight. Hmm. So what's C thirty eight? Don't know. Holster inserts for gunny sacks. Wow. Wow. These are these are empty, but this here is not empty. Another huh. holster. Yeah, so this is like one of those poly material holsters, the hard plastic. Wait, what does that say there? Cop by your thumb? Cop series. Oh, okay. Huh. What is this? This is a handgun leather. That's the company. This is a pocket holster, again, for it. S and W, so Smith and Wesson. Guys, sorry about the glare. We have the big overhead lights. I'm trying not to get it, but I know it is on some of the plastic stuff. So I, I'm trying to keep it off. So if you see me moving a little bit, that's to try and get the glare off. Uncle Mike's. That's this one. Is that like hard plastic? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Huh. Uncle Mike's Kydex concealment holsters. Okay. And uh, weapon fanny pack. <laughs> <laughs> what did he write on the Ziploc bag? It there. says Eagle holsters for fanny pack. Okay. Kentucky Derby glasses. I wonder. I assume these have a year. Churchill Downs, 1978. Okay. Harry M. Stevens. And there's six of them in here. Nice. So I wonder if there's any value to that or is it just... We'll see, but one thing we'll definitely do is we'll put these in our a lot of things in our online sales. So if you're not registered to see, go to www.recycleneo.com and you'll see the link to get you to our online sales. What is this? So what is this box? What is this this is a front? sportsman dry box. Yeah, there's a, a little label I'm trying to get here. Okay. What do we have? Arrow puller, new in the package, so hmm. we'll see if we can put that on eBay. This package actually was already open, but look at this. This is a little uh, arrow quiver. So we got two of them. I don't really understand how those work. The arrow shaft sits here, and then the point, the head, the broad heads, or the arrow sits in there. Just one? Or two. A... Oh. I don't know what that is, but that's about it in here. Ah, uh, there we go. Hmm. Tools. Tools. What? Yep. <laughs> Said he was a hunter, so here's some decoys for turkey hunting can you that looks like you should put that on your head or something right there no it doesn't it actually kind of does no it actually doesn't what do you do stuff something inside there so it like looks like a turkey probably i would have to say so hmm but is that a turkey or a pheasant you tell us <laughs> all right so that's that's a gobble gobble. Ooh, is that an owl? 
it doesn't have a head. <laughs> yes, it actually does. Here's the head right here. Oh, look at him. <laughs> there we go. And here's some steaks for probably putting those out. Mm. And what is this? This says Fox Pro. <laughs> oh, wow. Ew. It says rabbit on it. Are those it, real? Nope. That's fake. This looks like probably like a fox tail. So these are probably decoys is what okay. those are. What is this? This is an audio cable. Brand new in the package though. There's some kind of directions and that there's wire in that box. And if you look inside the lid, I can see it. You can't. Yeah, they're there's... the switches. So Oh. This is probably like a Jack in the box remote. Like. Hmm. That's going to be moves or it makes noise or we'll have to check that out. Maybe that'll be a short if we can get this box working. <laughs> there. Are these Empty. little white boxes. These, are, these say chargers on them, but oh, they are empty. Another one of these boxes, you can see this was packed with some more Galco leather double speed loader case. Hmm. These are empty. So I wonder if we'll find some of these empty bags. You know, probably amongst here, maybe we might find. This is a tie down for ammo side of system. That's interesting. We'll have to look that up. Same there, tie down. And a lot of this little stuff, because it's still brand new, and we have the barcode and everything, mm -hmm. um, we'll probably put this in our eBay store because it's. You know, Ooh, shoulder holster compact component. That's interesting. And then you have the it's for the Colt. There's a couple weapons there, um, but it has a mag holder for extra magazines and your holster. Yeah, talking about that. Looking this up, the comps on this was uh, hundreds, about a hundred bucks for that. Brand wow. New. Yeah. So. Yeah, holsters are not cheap. Leather holsters no. are not cheap. Here's a vertical shoulder holster system, so ambidextrous. So I'm wondering how much these are. That's a lot of inventory we just found that's gonna <laughs> quadruple. I mean, I don't even know how much. I, I was figuring when I started to see this that we'd be at about five grand, and uh, um, especially finding all those red lines, and phew, I think we're gonna be a lot higher than that. Oh, so we got a receipt here. What's the wow, receipt for? Sears. No, screwdriver, hand box. So, nope. Okay. That was just this. But inside here, we have all of these. I mean, look at this. Unopened. 54 caliber, 300 grain PTX. What What are those? Like, what? These are do for you put those in your muzzle loaders. Oh, okay. So, that's what these rounds are for. <laughs> You guys can tell I don't know much about pew pews. Thankfully, and Roy does. This is uh, another. Because this is PTX Sabbat. This is Mag Sabbat. So it's just a different model um, for the same company. Here's some Remington. So 54 and 44 cal. Um, look at all this other. I mean, black powder, one, two, three, four. So we got six of these, and these look unopened. This probably is open. Um, this is unopened, which is, again, you know, your muzzle loaders. Unopened. I mean, all of this is just brand new, unopened stock. This is awesome inventory. Yep. This here. Oh, that says lead balls on the side. Wow. wow. <laughs> like there are there are pew pews that you actually load that into those little lead balls. Yeah. It looks like archaic. <laughs> it's got that rubber band. I don't know how old that is, but the rubber bands 
disintegrated so now it's just sticky <laughs> that's that box ah I haven't even begun to look at the comps on this but I figure this box here is probably gonna be a good two hundred dollars yeah at least. that's where I went in my head uh, what's this Wow okay so this looks like it's this a looks like box his with, filing cabinet <laughs> you know we have gun cleaning parts these are nope actually it is open so I don't know how many well it says two each and there's two in there so these are wonder wads prelude bore buttons I mean look at it's just it's crazy because like look at this I mean those are craftsmen yeah what? it's new they're um hex um, oh. keys you know you look at here here's another craftsman I mean there's like hex keys. six of them yeah just all kinds of things this is Remington so these Some are kind all of kind little, of just little parts oh, but they're yeah. all brand new right like we have to go through this in a lot of detail here's an envelope with what's in here oops that came off the card dry fire revolutionary breach protector great greatly reduces misfire so hmm. I mean we don't even know what that's looking like but I mean this is just sitting in the envelope two of them so here's your brand new Remington gun cleaning kit I'm looking at the brush here I mean it doesn't even look like it's been used mm -mm. it might have been open it's a little hard to tell but well nothing's been used as far as the rim oil um yeah the I mean it's all still new in there so we, yeah it might not have been opened no because this is actually oh, well yeah. it could have been but yeah it wasn't used yeah so laces here's so spray gun cleaning kit I mean still new in the in the bag or package what's in here it's a lot of little envelopes in here and he was really organized if you guys see we've seen the Ziploc bags he has the Ziploc bags he labels things what's this this is address Scout Springs This is just looks like little parts. Like this says new. Oh, there's a glare. New firing pin springs. New O ring. Yep. New O original firing pin. Yep. There's so little let's muzzle or bullet look underneath aligners. all of this. And then there's some packages that are like empty. I mean, look at all this. We're finding new packages of here's some more. Um, maxi ball superior penetration some mm -hmm. more rounds I mean look at this just going back through some of the same stuff here but this is a powder measure <laughs> what is oh, this I don't know. 40 60 pellets the muzzle loading propellant pellets like these are new is two of them in here What's and they're the, not even open and the price on those is $24.99 each oh <laughs> I see something that what is this this is not gonna go back in the same way you pulled it out <laughs> uh -oh. uh, nothing's in it but that what looks was mysterious. It? <laughs> I know here's another this sportsman's another, dry box yeah. and right. these oh wait, wait wait what does this say on these here? cases we'll put in our what? sale too I mean m14 mags cleaning tools brushes <laughs> See, he labeled everything and it's packed full to the top so yes it is oh my uh that is some type of liquid we <laughs> won't get into that right now um m16 wrench Ooh. we also know um i don't know if that's the military but he was in the military um, yep, he was a, a marine so some of this isn't even listed original Springfield 
those are some oh tools. that has a tray yeah what's that is that a holster or something this is probably for a magazine okay um We'll have to look it up. It does have a part number. We'll have to figure that out. So what's underneath here? Mmm. Mag pouch. Ooh. Loophole Torx driver. Yes. So that's one. What is this one? This is a ring wrench. So these are tools to work on pew pews. This is probably because of scopes. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. magazine assembly. What do we have? I was going to say, why is there a glare? But it's foil. <laughs> we have so a, that's magazine. a magazine. Yes, it is. But you don't know what it's to. Um, there was four of them in here at one point. Hmm. I'm assuming it's probably the M14 that it listed out here. M14 oh, mags. Oh, right, right. What is this? Looks like case maintenance equipment. That looks rifle. like military. Yep. Yep. Ooh. Definitely. Definitely. Does it look familiar? Yes, it does. <laughs> that is, uh, I'm pretty positive that is military issue. And this is probably a and actually the interesting thing is these haven't been used like this is clean. wow That's, yeah i mean you can tell this hasn't been through the bore of a gun right of a pew pew so yeah these are this i'm not gonna open that if it's wrapped in this is a, probably an oil or something is gun that sling why for m1 that? Is that why you did that? Because it's yeah. probably a liquid? Or something that I don't want to get all over my fingers as I'm going through everything else right yeah. now. So that's a sling? Yep. That's a sling for M1 rifle. Um, this is for cleaning. Yep. Oh, so those are like this towels. one's been used. Yeah. You can see by the brush. But these are going to be your towels for cleaning out the bores. This is empty. This says magazine on it. Smells like guns. <laughs> Smells like. See, stuff. this isn't even open. Look. Yeah. It's so. Or nope. There it is. There it is. Okay. It's pull so it off. weird that but, that paper, that foil paper. But it doesn't look like it was ever used. Like I mean, when we can't the see it. When the rounds are going through <laughs> it, make a little groove or a scratch or something. Mm -hmm. So that still looks brand new. It doesn't look brand new though. Like that's the. Th it looks dirty. Well, like it's been I don't sitting in storage. Dirty, but. but I mean, yeah. we're, we're not talking about fresh out the store brand new. We're talking about it hasn't been used brand new. Right. And we got one, two, three. Three of those. Wow. <laughs> and mm, we this have might this be the box. Four pack. Look at this. This is actually is full. Is that the four pack? This is the four pack. Okay. That's what it, the other one looks like when it was full. Yeah. Wow. And wait a minute. Oh, nope. These are your ammunition pockets hold on hold on i want to okay i want to zoom in so how many of those do we have in there one two oh, i mean wow one two three four five here and another five there so we got ten <laughs> and those are the magazine holders yeah oh that is heavy <laughs> another box Whoa! Power point rifle slug. So, wow! Wow! So we got those and these here. So, what's underneath it? Hmm. My guess: more. Is that really the price? Three sixty-nine. That was the price when it was bought. Huh. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. A whole can full of those, whatever they are. They're 12 gauge slugs. Okay. So, so rifled slugs, 
rifled slugs. Yep, yep. What we is, know he was a hunter. We know he was a deer hunter um, and turkey. So would these be used for deer hunting? Um, I couldn't tell you. I'm not a hunter like that. So, okay. but uh, uh, from a buddy of mine who's a big hunter, he said he would use like a slug round for like a turkey. Okay. So I don't know if that's right. Yep. See, actually, right down there, nitro, magnum, uh, extended range. This says turkey on it. Oh, okay, okay. We got all this to go through. Stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, like, share. It helps the algorithm. It also helps get this pushed out to other people. We can show amazing finds.